We'll start this on our hands and knees with one minute of cat-cow. Extend the spine, flex, extend, flex, inhale, open the ribs, exhale, inhale, open the ribs, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale when you extend, exhale when you flex. If you want to time it for swimming, you're going to inhale through the mouth and exhale through the nose. If that's too complicated, don't worry about it. Next, we have some open books, and this is just to mobilize the upper back, get you ready for some front crawl swimming. Opens up the chest, warms up the shoulders. Just a different view. Here we're doing some shoulder rotations. You can go backwards, forwards, small, big. You can alternate arms. You can do a little bit of backstroke. You can go back to alternating the arms. You can do some freestyle. Just one minute of these shoulder rotations. Nothing, nothing crazy. Again, we're just lubricating the joints. You can do some rolls, getting, getting you ready. Now you're going to do some hip swings forward to back, forward to back, switch up the sides, just one minute of these, nothing too exciting. Time to mobilize the ankles. You can do some rotations here. You can draw out the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You can switch it up. You can switch it up every 10, 15 seconds, just so you reach a total of about one minute of ankle rotations.
Okay, now we are going to do 30 second hold of an ankle stretch. This is one variation. Um, it's really important to have really good plantar flexion as a swimmer. So just hold this for 30 seconds. Feel a stretch through the front of the shin, not too deep, uh, just to go till you feel the first instance of the stretch and then just hold it there for 30 seconds. About 30 seconds so you can switch now and you can do this side again for another 30 seconds Can continue to do one more round of those or you can do this stretch which is a bit of a deeper stretch where you sort of lie sit down on your ankles and lean back you might also feel a little bit of this in your quads this is sort of the advanced version Here we're going to stretch out the front of the chest. You can have your elbow at different heights um, on a door. Here you just should just feel a stretch across the chest. Um, you can do sort of this variation too, a bit more of a nerve stretch, a nerve floss. And we'll just hold one side for 30 seconds and then you will switch sides and stretch on the other side.
Next, we'll go into a lunge stretch. So again, here the foot is lying, the top of the foot is flat on the floor because we're working for swimming. If you're training this for running, you would have the toe tucked under and you would be dorsiflexed. Flexed. You feel a stretch across the front of the thigh, in this case on my left thigh, and the arm is up on the left side. If you want to get a bit of a deeper stretch, you can lean away from the extended leg. Hold that for 30 seconds. And now we are going to switch sides and do the same thing. This is just a different version or different view. Okay, now we're going to get ready for some strengthening specific for swimming. So we are going to do some rolling plank. So lie on your stomach um, and get ready to do some planks. And you can do these uh, on your knees or on your toes. Uh, I demonstrate both. I demonstrate the uh, on your toes first. And I'm not great at these, but you'll get the idea. <laughs> Okay, so you just go roll to one side, roll to the other side, stack your feet as you do it, and just try to engage your core and just keep your back and, and butt in the, long, in the same line as possible. So you can see how this kind of mimics the swimming motion. This I'm demonstrating on your knees if you can't quite do the action on, on your toes. Okay, so we'll do 30 seconds of that and we'll do that three times. So you do have a break coming up where you'll rest for 30 seconds. If you don't need that much rest, you can just fast forward through it.
Okay, so now you're going to lie on your back and get ready for some flutter kick on back. So just rest here for about 30 seconds. arms can be at your side, they can be extended out beside you in a T or they can be overhead and here you are initiating the kick from your hips um, and the knees aren't bending very much. You can see that uh, the tops of the feet would normally be pointed towards the bottom of the pool but in this case they're pointed towards the ceiling and you can hold this for 30 seconds or less if you can't quite do that. But just really look at that at my sort of kicking motion that you see there. Okay, now it's time to set up your swim tubing. So the swim tubing can usually comes with a little adjuster or attachment that you can um, anchor to a door. Otherwise, you can use sort of a, I've used a grocery bag and you use the handles and then you just put something inside the grocery bag like a pull boy um, and you anchor it to the other side of the door, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, you want this set up for what we're gonna do next. Okay, so we're just gonna do some rows. So you're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. So really bring the shoulders back and use the muscles in between your shoulder blades to bring the swim tubing back. Here's another way we open up the chest and just strengthen the muscles of the back. Also, for those of us with desk jobs where our shoulders are always anteriorly rotated towards our desk, um, this is a good chance to kind of reverse that posture. And then we'll just rest. Again, if you want less rest, then uh, you can skip through this. We do the 10, 10 rows twice.
Now you're just gonna do some external rotations, similar idea to the rows. Um, we are trying to improve your shoulder mobility uh, in the opposite way that you would sit at your desk. So we just do 10 of these and then you will switch sides. I don't switch sides in the video. You can just turn around um, and then do the same thing using the opposite arm. Okay, it's important to keep your shoulder by your, or your elbow by your side um, and try not to move. Uh, you can widen your stance if this is too difficult. You want a little bit of tension, but not too much tension. Uh, this is more of a therapeutic exercise than a strengthening exercise. We just don't want to do all this swimming um, with our shoulders in that sort of classic desk job position. Okay, so now we're gonna set up in this position. So note that we'll start with the left arm. My left foot's forward a little bit, so I'm slightly rotated away, okay? This means that this will be a little bit easier to do this high elbow catch. Okay, so now we're not doing the full stroke. You're just doing the high elbow catch part of the stroke, which is a lot what a lot of people miss. So you internally rotate that upper arm so that pointy part of your elbow always faces out when you do these. Okay, we're doing these for about 30 seconds. There's the slow motion version. So your arm, your arm goes vertical and then pushes behind you. This is just the first part of the swim stroke that we're training here. Okay, then you can switch arms. I don't, but you should. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, now we get into the full stroke. So here we alternate arms, same initiate initial phase as the high elbow, and then we push all the way through. Okay, keep the hand, the palm of the hand pushing through. All right, so don't don't let the elbow drop at the back of the stroke. You want a good, nice straight arm, thumb brushing by your hips. This is me doing it in slow motion. <laughs> 